And turning now to weather, meteorologist Andy Graves live here with us right now. Luckily, most of us saw the rain today, a little mist, but what are we looking for for the rest of the week as well? Well, you know, it's the sunshine's coming a day late because we're looking at some pretty nice weather for the start of the week. Wish we could have had it over the weekend, but uh, just some slight delays with the parades from the rain. Uh, so no big hazards for us this weekend. We did see some heavy rainfall over the weekend, but again, a quiet start to your work week. Here's a look at what's going on, and right now, uh, not too much happening. We do have some cloud cover and temperatures will be dropping once we see that cloud cover diminishing. In fact, if I can switch the colors around here, you can really see where the cloud cover still is. Clear skies off toward the northwest, and so those, that clearing line will continue to build down toward the southeast, and we're looking at a pretty nice start to the week. There's another cold front that's going to wash out across our area, and that's going to help bring some colder temperatures around. There's the rain we're saying goodbye to across the eastern seaboard, and you can see temperatures are dropping across the central plains. Now, we're not going to get as cold as Bismarck, Mark sitting up there at one degree, but we will see some 30s and 40s returning as we go into next week. So right now with the cloud cover, temperature is a little bit warmer. We're in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. And so depending on when those clouds diminish, those will allow those temperatures to drop into the 40s for most areas. So take a look at your forecast. And again, as we go overnight, saying goodbye to those clouds and hello to the sunshine for your Monday morning, temperatures across the area will generally start out in the upper 40s to low 50s. With the sunshine, we're warming back to kind of where we were today, some low to mid 60s, and then look at those temperatures drop by Tuesday morning. Some patchy frost may be possible on the North Shore. Bogalusa showing 32, as is Baton Rouge, so we may be flirting with that freezing point as we go into Tuesday morning. That will continue into Wednesday as well. Hey, wanted to give you a heads up on an event going on. We're adding so many words. It was just a super moon. Well, this one is a super blue blood moon and on January 31st in the morning. It'll also be the eclipse. That's it starts at 548 the eclipse and we'll see the moon set around 651. So that's about your window to see this. So the super moon is your closest orbit to Earth where it appears brighter and appears closer. The blue moon, it's not really going to be blue. It just means there's two full moons in a month. We had one at the very beginning of the year and we're having another one on January 31st. So that's where the blue comes in. And then a blood moon is the reddish color you get during the eclipse. But unfortunately for the New Orleans area and in the coastal Mississippi, we're only going to be seeing that partial eclipse, but you don't have to travel too far to catch that total eclipse. So it's a lunar trifecta happening on a Wednesday morning. So if you wake up early around six o'clock, look up and you will see it. Looking at your forecast, we're looking at dry conditions through Wednesday as we go toward the end of the week. Unfortunately, once again, tracking that potential for some showers late on Thursday and into Friday and then for parades going into the weekend. Most of Saturday looking good, but as we go into the overnight and into uh, Saturday night into Sunday, we start to see some more widespread rainfall. So we'll keep watching this forecast. Hopefully we'll see some better conditions for your weekend, but looking like some possible rain on Friday, partly cloudy Saturday and showers. Unfortunately, likely on Sunday temperatures will be dropping into the 50s. Check out your seven day forecast. So again, a beautiful start to the first half of the week. Temperatures warming back into the mid 60s after a chilly Tuesday and Wednesday watching for some rain going toward the end of the week.